You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. But unfortunately I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are, because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing and then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them saying like, oh you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome cucks, that kind of shit. And it got really under his skin in a big way so he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you, waving his gun around and dancing. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You, wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you are? Now the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while threatening me here is because during the stream, I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said, watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. And I'm sorry to be that guy, this is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. Three fucking months. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just going in there to complain about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with anything on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, or NPC, and that's it. You never deviate from this path. Which is ironic, because you're like literally a sheep, you have three programmed responses, you're like the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. It's pathetic.